So, my name is Peter Czerwinski, uh, also known as Furious Pete in the online world, and I play a bartender on the ninth. So, Furious Pete uh, started off on YouTube as a guy that just wanted to show off some eating skills that he randomly found out about. Started doing world records, started doing random challenges. Um, nine years ago, I started a German television show. It's a food uh, travel show. We travel around the world, engage in different cultures, try street food, high-end food, all that good stuff. Um, and then besides that, I do a bunch of fitness stuff. Obviously travel stuff, expensive foods, all that good stuff on YouTube. From that, I've stemmed a number of companies, supplement companies, apparel, and performance mouthpiece companies, investing companies, and so on. Uh, I got up at, what, 5 a.m. this today. Uh, I'm normally going to bed at three or four in the morning, not because I'm partying or whatever. I'm just work, I, I like working at night. I work a lot. Uh, but I get up at nine, eight, nine. Um, so the little time difference, it's big. <laughs> this is the kind of time, like, I travel a lot, so this is the kind of time where I'm heading to the airport and I don't have to be fully awake, I just have to get past security and customs and just pass out on the plane, so it's a little bit out of my uh, norm. <laughs> I, I like the whole hosting shows, food shows, and food travel is my passion, uh, so whether I do it on YouTube or in one of these other platforms that are out there, um, like Netflix or Amazon. Um, that's definitely something I want to do. Um, I would definitely, I, well, I never would drop YouTube completely, but I would definitely put a big focus if I had like a nice food travel show on Netflix or something like that. Um, that's where my passion lies, uh, along with everything else that I do outside of the video world, but that's definitely where my, my focus is for sure. Yeah. You know, I've never really done acting uh, on set. Uh, I do a lot of hosting in front of the camera for travel shows where I'm interacting with the public. Uh, everything's kind of one take and that's about it. I've done a couple of things here and there, like, you know, with actual lines and cut, let's do that again, cut, let's do that again, but it's not my norm. So we'll see how she goes today. I'm, I'm decent with interacting with the public and, and, and with food and all that, but this is a totally different world. I know it is. Um, you know, being able to immerse yourself in that role is, isn't is easy, you know? Um, there's these professional actors and they're actors for, like, they're good at what they do, you know? And they've taken years and years to perfect that craft. So, um, if obviously if something goes well here today, uh, then I'm always down to learn. I like learning, so. But I know, I know, I know it'll take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of effort for sure. So originally, I got into YouTube for not for making a lot of content. The reason being was I got into eating. I found out about my eating skills, and there was this contest online where you had to film yourself eating as much food as possible in two minutes. It was to win some supplements, and so I needed a place to upload my videos, a platform, and YouTube was that platform at the time in 2007, and so. Uploaded the videos there. That's where I started winning all these contests and eventually professional eating contests. But between 2007 and 2011, I was just posting random videos, random things, kind of just showing off to friends and showing off my talent. Uh, 2011, uh, I kind of took things seriously. To put things in perspective, between 2007 and 2011, I only gained 3,000 subscribers. Uh, after that, I was gaining like 3,000 a day. So like, like probably like a year after I took it seriously, like it, it rose pretty, pretty quickly. So uh, yeah. So it was all a fluke random, not like nowadays where people look at YouTube and they're like, oh, this could be a full-time job. I want to do this. You can make money off of this. No, it was, uh, it was at the time where people weren't even thinking about ad revenue and money. This, that was not a thing really, right? So uh, yeah. That was 2007, so 11 years ago. Like that, yeah. like I'm I'm an OG YouTuber, if you will. So uh, it was it was just a platform, a cool platform where you can share videos in a really cool way. That's the way we looked at it, and you know it's developed a lot since. A lot of people have made crazy businesses out of it, and uh, it's you know I, I'm grateful and thankful for it. But uh, back then it, it was a totally different platform, and I almost wish it was kind of like that still because people upload in a different way now. 
Uh, people just upload for the views, for, for you know, the money generating, not sometimes for making good content. I, don't, I really don't know how the YouTube future will be. It's getting more and more competitive. And as a result, people are doing whatever it takes to get people to watch their videos. Um, people are making the most ridiculous titles and thumbnails just for people to watch the videos. People are doing really extreme stuff just for people to watch the videos. And I really don't know what the future will hold with YouTube. Um, there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't like. Um, but you know, the, the, the thing about technology, the thing about YouTube in general, it changes every six months. Something changes, you know, and we're, we're moving at an alarmingly fast rate. So um, I really can't predict the future because it's so hard to tell, you know, VR is going to be a big thing. Um, there's a lot of other things that are going to change, uh, but I don't know where it's going to go, but I think it's not necessarily, sometimes I feel like it's not going to move in the direction that we want it to. What's up guys, Furious Pete here. Make sure you guys check out Furious Pete on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You guys know the drill. And of course, check out The Ninth on cbc.ca where I play a bartender. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Ninth. Please be sure to tune into one of these videos as well. Hit like and watch these things. Man, <laughs> this is gonna be some quality stuff. Seriously.